Things are only just getting back to normal tonight at BC Ferries. The wild windstorm canceled more than 100 sailings yesterday, stranding thousands of people. All the backlog meant long waits today, and some passengers were even told to go to other terminals. Long lines and even more chaos in the aftermath of a wild windstorm on the BC South Coast. We couldn't get on the ferry. We had to get a room for the night. They had recommended if you could find a place in town, go back. There's a lot of us who are just wishing we would get home to work, but no luck. BC Ferries had to cancel 130 sailings Sunday on 12 different routes, stranding thousands of people. So the rush was on as a backlog of travelers tried to get where they were going any way they could. We had a call from BC Ferries that there were in excess of 700 walk-ons this morning on this ferry and there was no PCL. So we were able to, as well as our regular service, get two additional double-deckers out here. But with two sailing waits for almost the entire day, it was anything but smooth sailing. I waited for three hours over in... Uh to Austin to get back here. I'm gonna uh, I'm supposed to be babysitting my grandson today. So I'm headed to Victoria to see patients today. And now with hundreds of people on here, where there's no taxi to get on, so it's going to be a long run. To help meet the demand, extra morning sailings were added between Tawasson and Swartz Bay. But ferries officials were caught off guard by another surge in the afternoon at Swartz Bay. We did have an extra sailing uh, leaving uh, Tawasson Terminal this morning at 8 o'clock and Swartz Bay at 10 a.m. Uh, once we had that extra trip, uh, it, the traffic did start to go down. We did release the crew and unfortunately the traffic has picked up again at Swartz Bay. It was so bad by early afternoon, drivers without a reservation faced a six-hour wait, and they were told to drive the two-plus hours to Departure Bay to avoid the delay. On the water, the storm's destructive impact is even more clear. Dozens of boats were beached after being tossed ashore. It's tragic, for sure, for sure. It's hard to see. It uh, pains me to see these boats on the shore. And with logs and debris littering Vancouver Island beaches, the cleanup is just beginning.